Okay. Uh, okay. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Funnerist here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Empyrean Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the training area, and we also fought everybody here in this gym, and now we should be able to take on the gym leader. So I went out trying to level up Big Boy. I got him up one level to eight, but, um, yeah, it was, there's nothing but, like, level twos and threes in the grass nearby here, so... Not going to be dealing with that, uh, but he did, he did learn Headbutt at level 8, so that's pretty cool. So, anyways. Yeah, we're just going to go in hoping Buddy can, like, I'm hoping he can just run through a team, honestly. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, shit. It's Blitz. Ah, oh, shit. Moron, I'm walking here. Oh, if it isn't you. I forgot your name. You're not important anyway. What'd you say to me, you rookie? I'll take you on here and now. I don't care. I just defeated the lame-ass gym captain. My Pokemon are even healed, but I don't care. I'm gonna wipe the floor with you. Wait, did you say your Pokemon aren't even healed? Is he fighting me with not healed Pokemon? Oh my god! Again, something I have never seen before in a Pokemon game, where we fought, we're fighting somebody who whose Pokemon are already weakened. That's interesting. Not like this Tepic was that weekend, but... How, wait, how... How does this Tep... This was a rock gym. What the hell did... How did this Tepic beat a rock gym? Oh, he has a Heracross. That might be why. Okay. Flying... Or... Bug fighting. So, Hawkeye has Peck, so that should be four times effective. That might be how he beat the... No, it still doesn't make sense. Bug isn't good again... I don't understand how this even... Oh, he has Bulletsy? I guess that's how... Did he just bullet seed everything? But then again, this Heracross is weak to rock, because it's... No, it's not. Never mind. I keep thinking it's flying for some reason, because it has wings, sort of. <laughs> but it's not flying, it's bug fighting. So this is how we beat the Jib. Use the Heracross, probably. Because I know that Tepic ain't do shit. It's fire, it's weak to rock. There's no way that thing could beat the Jib. Unless the Jib really is that weak. Level 12 for Hawkeye, nice. 13, scratch that. What? That was a lucky win. You know, you're just ass. Sure, he only won because my Pokemon weren't healed, newbie. Well, it's your fault for challenging me. What the fuck? Don't challenge me with weakened Pokemon if you're gonna fucking complain about it. God. Well. It's like if I had a broken leg and challenged you to a race, and, and you won only because I had a broken leg and I complained about it. It's fucking stupid. Anyways, enough about that. We go ahead and fight the gym now. So his Pokemon were level 12, so I'm guessing the gym leader's Pokemon might be around the same. So we have a 14. We have a level 14 ground type. So hopefully Buddy could just run through it. Now, without any interruptions, let's go inside. Hello. Oh. Sorry. Hello. I can see it's your first time challenging a gym. Let me briefly explain the rules. First, challengers must challenge the vice captain of the gym, which is me. And then and then if and only if they have defeated the vice captain, they can challenge the captain. The gyms are organized this way in order to reduce the number of underqualified trainers and in turn the amount of captain's work. If you win against the vice captain, you gain the right to summon the captain. Of course, if you lose against the captain, you need you need not and cannot rebattle the vice captain again. Sure. Okay, that's interesting. So, we have a, so every gym is going to have a Vice Captain and a Captain. So we have Vice Captain Juris here. Okay, level 8? I think I'm just too over level, dude. <laughs> level 8 Apom. Fantastic. Alright. Might do some switch training with Aeron then. Okay. Oh, he has an Aeron too. Look at that. Aeron v Aeron. <gasps> Look at that. Level 9. Buddy out. So this thing's four times weak to fighting, so hopefully we can one shot it with double kick. Actually it's four times weak to ground too. Okay. Could use much up, but whatever. It's fine. Well done, trainer. I shall summon the captain now. Okay, hello. Welcome, I am Rita. Callistern Gym Captain. Show me what you got, pretty boy. Okay, so it's back to back. That's interesting. We don't get a chance to heal. 
It's just Vice Captain, Captain. Got it. <gasps> Level 10, Aaron. Oh, man. Going up in life, aren't we? Oh, okay. GG. Rhyhorn. Some big boy in for the XP. This thing's pure rock, I think. So, should be fine just going to Buddy and use Mud Shot. What's that do? Oh my god, that did 20 damage. Please kill it. Okay. Maybe switching out him wasn't a good idea. So this should be a normal a normal type thing, right? Zangoose. Uh, that looks like it could be a problem. Level 12? Yeah, level 12 Zangoose. Eek. Let's growl because we I know this thing's gonna be mostly at physical attacking. Just try to drop its attack as much as we can. I'm gonna heal here just in case we get crit. I'm trying to play the sick. I don't know, he hasn't crit me yet, and I don't know how much a crit will do to me. We're playing it safe. Just keep lowering its attack. Hopefully, it doesn't keep using Fury Cutter. Okay. So right now he's at minus two because he leered us once. Get him to minus three, and then we'll start attacking. We'll just use leafage. Hey, I've got a crit. Didn't do much. Okay, I'm gonna heal again. I'm trying to play it safe. I'm not trying to. I ain't trying to get crit and one shotted. If I drop below, let's say 25, I'll heal. I should be using my Pokas, Pokazar potions. We should be fine. One more hit. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Beat the Zangus. Yeah. Level 14. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Oh, you're strong. Congratulations. Uh, let me give you your first badge. The hard badge. Nice. That badge, the soft level cap for your Pokemon, will now be 25. Oh, and I want you to have this. Hey, Bulldoze, I know a Pokemon that could use that. Good luck on your journey. Oh, hi, Vice Captain. Alright, bye, Vice Captain. Actually, I want to... Probably nothing in these rocks right here, but I will check. Can I go back here now? No? Okay. So there we go. We got our first gym badge. Fantastic. Oh, shit. Mark, hey, what's up? I mean, do you have the time? There's something I'd like you to do for me. Come meet me in the Shaw Monk Forest alone. The entrance of the forest is back on Route 101. See you there. Oh shit, we're gonna bone. Let's get it. <laughs> I don't know why she wants to bone in the forest, but you know, whatever. Probably not, that's probably not what, she's, what we're gonna have to do, but you know. It's nice to dream, though. She's probably gonna need to give us cut, because I... On, we, I've been everywhere. I don't know where we're supposed to go from here. So the only way, to, the only place we can go from here is through that forest. So we're gonna need to cut. For that though, let's go ahead and buy some healing items. I feel like that forest might have some poison types. So let's grab a couple of those. How are we doing on pokeballs? We have six plus the love ball. That should be fine until we get to the next town. Let's go buy some Pokizar potions. Oh, look at that guy right there. Has he always been standing there? Probably not. Let's buy some of these. Okay, that should be fine for now. If we need more, we can come back. Hi, Mark. Professor Almond sent me here to find you. He wants you to have this. What is it? It's Poke Gear. Okay. <laughs> oh. Poke Gear is a useful tool for any trainer. It's a map and a phone. Two in one. Registered Professor Allman in the Poke Gear. You'll receive a phone call soon. Oh, hi, thanks. Nice. Yep, okay, that was really soon. <laughs> that was soon. Mark, congratulations on defeating the Calistern Gym Captain. I had no doubt in you. Anyway, Mark, there is another reason why I'm calling you. A man who worked with your father visited Mera. He was looking for me, and more importantly, you. Really? Does he know where my dad's? Where my? Where do? You, does he know where dad's now? Wait, what? Does he know where's dad now? Okay. 
Hmm. He wasn't very clear about it. He said he wanted to talk to you in person. Mark, I told him you were most likely on your way towards Shaw Monk Town, and then he disappeared. I'm not sure if we can trust him, but what, what else can we do? No he's Mark. You should also head towards Shaw Monk. That's also where the next gym is. If you need directions, use the map. Pokey Gear came with it. Well then, we'll be in touch. This guy's totally fucking shady, dude. I don't trust him. Don't trust him. He's shady as shit. God, I wish the last town sold repels. Hmm. It's not going to be a fun adventure right now without repels. Another reason why I should save money, because when we can buy repels, I'm going to buy all of them. Shaw Monk Forest. Where where are we bon where are we boning at? Where is she? There she is. Oh, we could have had a shroomish, dude. What was my encounter in here? I think it was the Weedle. I could have had a goddamn shroomish. Hmm. Oh hi Mark. Uh, I see no one's with you. Good. Okay. You asked me to come alone to a dark forest. Yeah, earlier today I was walking through here and I dropped a personal item. It fell behind that thorny shrub down there, and now I can't not now I can't get it out. But I found a way to get it back. That's where you come in. I need you to cut through the bramble with a pair of steel scissors. Why can't you do it? <laughs> like Why can't you cut through it with steel you have scissors yourself? Oh thanks, you cut like a pro. Like why did I have to do that? That makes no sense. Foo foo. Let me give you my phone number, Mark. You never know when I might need some strong arms again. What? Okay. Whatever. I kind of wanted that item, but okay, I guess. Alright, but now we have some steel scissors to cut through shit, so I guess no HMs. Instead we get, like, hammer, steel scissors, stuff like that. I'm looking for a female pantsage. Are you willing to trade my pantsir for her? I don't have it. Well... This would be a horrible track through the forest, dude, with all these... Oh my god, I could have had a Fomantis, dude. I got the freaking Weedle, and I could have had all these cool mons. Oh, nice, an antidote. This is, this is not going to be fun. I'm going to run into literally like 50 wild Pokemon by the time we get out of here. It's not going to be fun. Okay, I'm going to go the other direction. Great. Lovely. This is, this is a fun time right now. Can you... Oh my, this bitch seriously has to block the way. Why? Why do you have to block the way out? Go. Go. Two more steps. One more step. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, look, there's a Pan Sage right there. So, I, get, I mean, I guess you can find Pan Sage in here. I'm gonna go this way real quick to see if there's anything. I haven't been really looking for hidden items. I'm gonna step on these spots. Okay. Oh, but I could have had a Grubbin, dude. I should have waited until I got cut to get an encounter in here, because I could have had a Grubbin. How much fun a Grubbin would have been? Whoa. Is this the way out? I guess I'll never find out because I run into a wild Pokemon again. You know, the fun times. Not the way out. This leads further into the forest. Okay, so we have two ways we can go. We can go that way or this way. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. See where this takes us. Okay. Fantastic. Amazing gameplay right here. You know, just looking at every Pokemon that ever existed. Every two steps I take. Foo foo foo, I've been waiting for you, you foolish trainer. Oh my god, this guy. I'm gonna fuck him up. Talk to me. Oh, it's a burglar. Holy shit. He's just trying to rob me in the forest? What kind of shit is that, Mr. Burglar? He's trying to rob me. Oh, you're not electric type yet. Dang it. I thought it was electric type. This thing knows bite. That's oh, dangerous. Pony 
Utah. Nope. Get out. Send big boy off his max speed. Actually, can you take this guy? Try hardening. Never mind, I forgot it's fire. Completely forgot it's fire. <laughs> yeah, you can't take this thing. I don't know why I was thinking we were good against fire when we're steel type. I was, I was thinking more about our rock typing. This, okay, he got a critical hit. I forgot I had the orange berry. Can you not crit ember me? That'd be great. How much does an ember do without the crit? I was just about to say, I hope we don't get burned. What happened? We got fucking burned, dude. Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, thank you for using something else besides Ember. So now we can get off an attack. It's mud shot. Mm, oh, I was hoping for a one shot. It dropped its speed, but it's still probably faster than us. Dude, if we weren't burned, it'd be so much better if we weren't burned. I'm gonna need him to not hit an ember. The first, the second he doesn't hit an ember, we'll go for another hit and we can finish him. I wish I had like quick attack or something, but I don't. That dropped me like 13 plus the burn. I can't trust it, dude. I'm not gonna lose Buddy. Buddy is an important member to my team. I'm not gonna lose him to a goddamn Ponyta. Tail Whip. Thank you. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna use. Should I use Double Kick? Just to make sure we don't miss, because much. I ah, know, we'll go much shot. Because I know much shot doesn't have 100 accuracy. I don't want to randomly just miss. Big Boy got to 9. Good job. Ho ho! Fine, you win. I'll let you pass this time. What the hell? How are you gonna stop me with no Pokemon? I don't think I have any burn heal, so I gotta go out and heal. God damn Ponyta. Actually, let me check to make sure see if I have any burn heals, actually. Uh, Ice Peril, Antidote, Cherry Berry, Petra Berry. Yeah, no, no burn heals. We gotta go. Ah. Uh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is pissing me off, dude. I hate running into wild Pokemon when I don't want to. It's just annoying as shit. It's not hard. It's not challenging. It's annoying. It's annoying as fuck, and it makes me want to fucking do bad things. because we used quite a bit with that Ponyta. Alright, back to the forest. I think the way we were going with the burglar, that's the way out. But the other way must lead just deeper into the forest. I'm going to check to see, make sure this is what I think it is, and it's the way out. If it is, then we'll just cut. We'll go back around and go deeper into the forest. I want to go exploring. I want to explore this game. I don't just want to, like, run through it. You stupid cunt! Why would you block my one path? Is this the way out? No, they both lead deeper into the forest. Okay, we'll go this way, then. Oh, it's a scruppy. That's pretty dope. That night I cover myself in bugs. Okay. I will never talk to you again. Venipede. Only 10 Venipede. Neutral because you're poison type. It's fine. It's fine. If you want to use roll up, it's fine. It's completely fine. Wormple. What the hell you have a Wormple for? It's not very intimidating. Look at it. Look at him. Look at his little adorable ass. I'm gonna switch out to Hawkeye just in case the thing tries to poison sting. Actually, it can't poison me because I'm. Hmm, 
I already switched, so I guess it's too late, but the thing only had like tackle and poison sting and shit. Might as well have just stayed in with our Aeron. Make things easier. Of course, dude. That's the kind of luck we have. We get poisoned off of one poison sting. Like, I don't think every poison move should have the same chance to poison. Like, stronger moves, I'm not I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure every, like, Poison Sting and, like, Sludge Bomb probably have the exact same chance to poison, right? I think something like, oh, hello, Lungler Razor Leaf. I think it's, that's strong, right? Yeah, 55, Lance Crit's easier. Perfect. You know what I'm saying is that, um, I'm not sure if this is how it works, because I feel like with Poison Sting, I get poisoned fairly easily. But I feel like weaker moves should have a less chance of poisoning you than with something like a Sludge Bomb. I don't do that, I'm not a weirdo. I don't believe you. I 100% think you're a weirdo. Uh, maybe that's how it actually works, and I'm just a very unlucky person. But that's how I think it should work. Something like Poison Sting should not have a high chance to poison you. I could have got a Murkrow, dude. Dang it. With all these cool mods I could have got, I ended up with a goddamn Weedle because I was greedy and wanted my Pokemon early. All these Pokemon I'd rather have than a freaking Weedle. Except for the Sentret. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was my only other choice. I'd rather have the Weedle than the Sentret. Okay. God damn it, dude. I'm annoying as shit running into wild Pokemon every two seconds. I have one Repel. Should I use it? Oh, thank you for the repel. This person understands my pain. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I'm gonna use it so I can... I have two of them now. Okay. Now I feel like I can freely move around. Go, Ninkata. Stab that trainer, then steal everything they have. What did you just say? Um, is this guy trying to rob me? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> He told his Ninkata to stab me. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with this kid? Stab him and then take everything he has. Okay, yeah, this Ninkata's gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's back out. Go to big boy. Yeah, he can take that. Take that all day. The question is, how much damage can he do? That was a fair amount, and we got the flinch. Let's go, big boy. Let's go, big boy. Double flinch. Nice. Look at that. Oh, it should have Fomantis. Let's go to Hawkeye. Is this thing bug? I don't think it's bug fairy yet, or is it? I don't know. I know it's at least just bug right now. Oh shit, one shot. Let's go. Yikes. Yeah, now give me everything you got, you motherfuck. I didn't know you were a strong trainer. Handed over 300 extra. Yeah, you better. Try to rob me? How is this kid's problem? What's going on over there? It looks like something important. Spear Murkrow are fighting again. This time Spear evicted the Murkrow. I've called backup rangers. It might take a while for them to get here. Can we just scare off the Spear ourselves? We could, but we need a third trainer to assist us. If only the, if it's only the two of us. It won't end well. Well, I see uh, somebody I know over there. What? Okay, so I guess I gotta go get her then, right? Yeah. Gotta go get her to help us. God damn it. Alright. What was her name again? Moria? Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to... So we gotta go to the other side. And I'm gonna go there on our own because I don't want to run into wild Pokemon and make the last 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. See you guys next time. Peace out.